Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Game of Trades and this is going to be a technical analysis of natural gas futures. I'm going to go over my uh, longer term outlook on uh, the technicals of natural gas uh, as well as um, a recap on the trade that we had recently on natural gas that uh, got stopped out actually. And obviously uh, some of the uh, more important uh, technicals that I see on the uh, daily chart. Uh, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Uh, as you can see, this is a, a weekly chart of uh, natural gas. And you can see we uh, popped, up, uh, popped down um, on this $2.5 uh, support level. This is actually a support level that has held for the past two and a half years, all the way back to 2016. You can see we were above. We broke above this support level impulsively and we stayed and remained above it uh, right up until uh, now. We did have a brief pop under um, this level you know a few weeks back uh, but I said that would be a uh, bear trap and it was we popped right above. I expected more of a rally which is why we uh, had a trade on it uh, but we started going back down. The momentum is extremely bearish on uh, natural gas right now. Uh, you can see we have now two uh, big candles, big red candles on the weekly chart that pops down on the 2.5 level. You know, when I see a big red candle like this, clearly, uh, you know, pushing through a level, this uh, to me, you know, it, it's, it's valid. I mean, we did, we are officially below the level, so uh, there's nothing to say about that. Uh, now, do I think we're we're gonna reverse? I'm gonna talk about that um, when I get to the daily chart. But yeah, possi possibly that that is p for now my my uh, preferred outlook on the uh, natural gas futures. Now, uh, on the weekly chart, one thing I wanted to uh, note is that you know from a long term perspective, let's zoom out and let's see this uh, this level. This is very significant level so this is a very important moment for natural gas and you can see uh, it has held for the ma the majority of the last 10 years and when it does pop under like in uh, 2011 um, it pops for uh, a few weeks and then it comes back up and same thing here pop down for uh, you know a couple months a few months and then it popped back above um, so you know Technically, without leverage, without anything, if you're just buying natural gas for the sake of buying natural gas, this does not get uh, much better of a price. Um, I can almost guarantee. I, I can guarantee you 100% that natural gas at one point uh, in 2019 will uh, go higher than 2.5. So, uh, if you're looking for a 100% trade uh, um, that you can hold and uh, you know, perhaps rally on to higher levels in the long term. This is an objective level to buy. This is a very, very cheap price for natural gas. It doesn't. It's happened two year, two, uh, two times in the past ten years. That just tells you, um, you know, just from a strictly technical st uh, standpoint, it is a cheap price. So that's uh, what I wanted to say on the weekly. Let's uh, take a look at the actual technicals on the. Uh, daily chart. Now on the daily chart we have yet another extension of the divergence that we have on the MACD. So you can see right here we have lower lows whilst the MACD made lower lows that led to this nice uh, rally. Same thing here we had another uh, lower low on uh, the price with the higher low on the MACD that led to uh, not quite the rally I expected, but uh, we did get some what of a rally, and uh, we now have a fourth, uh, a fourth divergence. So another extension of the divergence. This, to me, is just a huge reversal pattern. This is a huge reversal pattern that will, uh, at one point, lead to a nice uh, impulsive rally uh, to the opposite side. Now this is what I mean when you have 
to be patient with these divergences, they sometimes take a long time to play out and you need to be ready when they do. And uh, so what I'm waiting for here uh, on natural gas is uh, pretty much a buy signal. So, you know, we did have somewhat of a buy signal here when we had a crossover uh, on the uh, MACD and a uh, oversold signal on the RSI, which is why we had a nice long trade here uh, that got to, um, you know, halfway to our first target. Uh, but didn't quite get there, uh, we reversed. So the, the trade is officially stopped out. We, are, we, we did get a net positive result. Um, you know, we started at 2.49 and uh, our stop, uh, you know, we raised our stops at 2.5 when we were uh, in this area. And when we got below 2.5, you know, the, the stop was hit. So we had a minor uh, profit there, so no loss on natural gas. That's a uh, you know the, the the positive outcome, but uh, we did unfortunately get our stop um, hit. Now, what I'm looking for uh, specifically for buy signals right now is first of all a cross on the MACD. You can see the blue line is under the red one. I want to uh, have the blue line cross back above the red one, and Considering how close we are to the zero line on the MACD, um, a cross of the uh, blue line above the red one would put us in bullish territory. You can, you, you know, if you've been watching my videos, that if you are above the zero line on the MACD, you are in bullish territory, and that is bullish. Uh, so if we do get some kind of a rally, we'll get the blue line crossing up, and we'll start to. Uh, make an uptrend. That is what I'm looking for. And um, another buy signal that I uh, see right now is the divergence on the RSI, but that's uh, pretty much the same thing as MACD. The only thing is that right now we have this for the first time. So um, we do have an extension of the divergence on the MACD and new divergence on the RSI, which is always a good confirmation to have. So, you know, no, no trade today, no, no real uh, news, apart from the fact that I am still bullish. Uh, I still think that a reversal is coming for natural gas, uh, but it's a question of when and uh, where. I mean, uh, really the reversal can be now all the way down to, you know, 2 point, uh, I'd say 2.2 .2 is my max, max target zone. I, if we start going below 2.2, then I'll have been wrong. I'll have been, you know, it won't, it won't be a reversal pattern. It will just be a, a downtrend. Uh, but for me, you know, again, I'll, nothing is 100% in technical analysis, but uh, this to me looks uh, like a textbook uh, reversal pattern just on the MACD, on the RSI, and just the way the price is behaving right now. Um, so that's about all I wanted to say, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, in the meantime, good luck on your trading and uh, see you next time.